that's really good. I, like that. <laughs> I wanted to hate this. I like that. I, I really wanted to hate this, and it is delicious. Oh, brown box is cool. Look at that. I like that. Ah. Shit. What you got, Sam? <clears throat> Bubbles from bees, I like that. It's a good. Oh yeah. New canned range. Looking sexy. Hibiscus. Oh mate, these is gonna be cool. These are gonna go down so well. Nice texture label. Clean, crisp imagery. Modern. The same image at all. It's like they're a modern mead yeah. company. Oh, they are. <laughs> cool, man. I like them. Crack them open now. Try them. These are all 4% now. Yeah. So I think we both kind of agreed it's it's light on the fruit flavour, the hibiscus flavour. Like, it's not... I was expecting you know, a real punch of, like, powerful hibiscus and a little bit tarter than it is. I think it's a bit more subdued. I think it's a bit more open for everybody. Do you know? I think... Um, Definitely an entry level mead in terms of like a good gateway for people, I think. What do you think? I was not expecting that to go in. <laughs> yeah, see, again, it seems to be kind of like <clears throat> it's going for that kind of like light, summery, delicate sort of floral notes. More kind of like it's almost like the, like the honey and the floral notes almost, almost, almost might make it fruity. So, again, it's, kind of, it's almost kind of got like a soft berry kind of thing going on. Um, yeah, really delicious. Go down really, go down really nicely uh, over the rest of the summer. Right, let's try. So this is the hop, so we're familiar. But this is a four percent, so this has been brought down by one point five percent. I'm assuming we'll find out. I'm guessing it is the exact hop blend. It doesn't say any different, so. We can back to the old one. That's what I'm thinking. We've still got the old one. So this is the old one. Um, I mean, straight away, the package That's is top notch. So much better. Like they've they've upped that. So much better. Obviously, this one's cold as well, so that has been pretty fair. I think the new one's better. Mm. I think that the acidity is a lot higher in this, whereas this has a, 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 a tartness to it, but it's more subtle and it's more beery. You get a bit more of like, you get a bit more of like a funk from the hop comes through. Yeah. Just so I count as that. Yeah, yeah, kind of yeah, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that, is, that one's improved massively. The light. Oh. Citrusy. So again, this is one that we've stopped at 5.5, that's been brought down to four. The what, I ne one thing I always thought about this is I never quite noticed all the botanicals. Like, I couldn't tell there was tarragon in it, personally, on my palate. Not in a bad way. It, it was always kind of like, there was kind of like a generic soft, earthy note to it. It's a bit more subtle. Okay, I think that lowering that ABV subtled them all. Uh, Dave, you're the one who likes this. Mm. But again, I, I see that as an improvement again, though. I yeah, I agree. It's got I, more kind of. Like I was never <clears> a fan of that one as <throat> much as everybody else for some reason. I preferred the hot. I feel like before that was a lot saltier. It was more almost like seawatery. I think the salt's um, balanced. But yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's good. Fun. It's got quite a lot of body to it now. So by, by the looks of it, I mean, they've been going quite a few years now, but they are improving. Like, they're nailing their recipes. Mm. They're getting it better. I'm assuming, we need, we haven't seen the pricing, but I'm assuming that the pricing's getting better. And then last one, the one that I'm scared of, oh, is the sour. This so is, oh, hello. This is the one that you're excited about, Luke, right? <laughs> yeah, so Luke loves sour beers. I hate sour stuff. Now, Tom told me that these are specifically 
lower, like it's an entry level sourness. Apparently they made it in the brewery and they were like really into it being like really sour and tart right. and they loved it but then they were like other people aren't going to get it. So they've dialed that down to be an entry level sour. That's really good. I, like that. I wanted to hate this. I like that. I, I really wanted to hate this, and it is delicious. So the meal. That's my favourite like... one. By far. So that yeah, is awesome. There's definitely a light sourness, but the balance is like I mean, balance is spot on. If you gave it me, would I know it was sour? No. No. I'd never no. take that. It's got a tinge of it, but it's more like slightly less sweet. I uh, think I actually think I would like personally, and I get why they've dialed it down. But if they did bring out a sour version, I'd, like, I'd, 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 I'd be in sour. Well. Yeah, yeah. I'd, yeah, I'd take the sourness further. For me, it's still like a touch on the. For me, it's still on the sweeter side. But I drink like <laughs> what yeah. sour is. But yeah, I think like what they're doing about making mead accessible. <laughs> Every single one of these, the ABV is perfect. Having getting in a can is really approachable. I think this screams, do you drink beer? If so, buy this. Whereas these, the branding's more accessible. Now with a lot more things coming out in can varieties, like ready to drink cocktails and whatnot. I think this is making it approachable. I think they're spot on with all flavors. Travel retail mead? Ah, they could do. WH Smithson stations? That's one thing. Yeah. Train, train mead. Yeah, train man. Train mead. Tra train mead. He needs it. He that's, needs that's, that's the hashtag you need to get going. Yeah. <laughs> that should be their marketing plan is anywhere near a train station. Literally. Winning. Awesome.